Hello, and welcome to the Over 50 Health and Wellness Podcast. I'm your host, Kevin English. I'm the founder of The Silver Edge, and our mission is to help you get into the best shape of your life, regardless of your age, so that you can show up in the second half of your life as the healthiest, strongest, most vital version of yourself. Today, we have another episode of The Coach's Corner, so no guest, it's just me, and we'll be back next week with our normal interview format. But today I want to have some fun and talk to you about your story and why you are a hero. So without further ado, let's get on with today's show. You are a hero. Each and every one of us is a hero in our own story. We're all struggling to survive and thrive. We all have problems and roadblocks in our way that must be overcome to get what we want. Villains that must be defeated, if you will. And we all need help along the way, some guidance and some support. We need a plan, and we need to take action on that plan to defeat our enemies and to avoid failure and to find ultimate success to live happily ever after, so to speak. Now, you may be thinking this doesn't sound like you at all. You're not on a heroic quest, let alone have enemies that need to be defeated. But stick with me. I assure you that you are a hero and that you do have enemies that must be defeated and that you can, in fact, live happily ever after. Now, I'm going to couch our story in terms of health, specifically weight loss. But this story is archetypical, meaning that you can apply this story to multiple facets of your life, your relationships, your finances, your career, etc. But since my particular area of expertise centers around health and wellness, we're going to use weight loss as the framework for our story today. Every story has to start with a hero. And just so we're clear, that's you. And that hero has to want something that he or she doesn't currently have. And for our story to be compelling, that something has to be difficult or even seemingly impossible to obtain. So we'll start our story here. You are our hero. You're the good guy or gal. But you don't know you're a hero yet. You certainly don't feel like a hero. You're just an ordinary person going about your life. But there's something you want, something you've always dreamed about. And that's a lean, healthy body that you love and that you're comfortable with. It's a healthy relationship with yourself, your body, with food, and with exercise. You've struggled with body weight and body issues most of your adult life. Perhaps you've lost and gained the same 20 pounds over and over again. And perhaps these repeated attempts at weight loss have left you feeling defeated, like a failure. I mean, you're a smart, capable person who's so successful in so many other areas of your life. Why is this one area such a challenge for you? Okay, so in Act 1 of our story, we have established you as our hero. And every good story needs conflict. You want to lose weight, you want to feel healthy and feel confident, and not be insecure and self-conscious about your body, but despite trying everything, you've yet to find the secret to long-term body composition success. What this story needs now is a villain. Every good story has one. The Wizard of Oz has the Wicked Witch of the West, Star Wars has Darth Vader, and Shrek has Lord Farquaad. But how does this apply to your story? Your enemy is modern diet culture. It's get slim quick scams. It's the common narrative that it's all downhill from here. It's our modern medical and pharma systems that profit wildly from you staying in a sick and unhealthy state. It's modern ultra-processed foods and drinks. So you absolutely have an enemy. And your enemy is formidable. And even more dastardly, your enemy is often disguised as the good guy. Your enemy is often my industry, nutrition experts and weight loss gurus with promises of fat loss smoothies and pills, of melting fat in three short weeks while you sleep. Your enemy is large, well-funded, and has a firm foothold in your life. Okay, so far we've established you as our hero. There's something you want that you don't have yet, and a seemingly insurmountable enemy stands between you and your dreams. We've created conflict, and the odds are great. What's at stake is you staying the same, feeling insecure about yourself, unhappy and unhealthy, yearning to change, but powerless in the face of your foe. But if you can somehow defeat this enemy, slay this proverbial dragon, 
you'll emerge on the other side as a victorious hero. You'll be lean, strong, capable, vibrant, confident, and healthy. You'll show up for others as the best version of yourself. You'll have more energy, improved mood and libido, and the ability to be active and do the things you'll love. You'll fit into your old clothes, and your mood for each day won't be dictated by the number on your bathroom scale. But the stakes are even higher than that. They are literally life and death. For our hero, that's you, conquering the foe could be the difference between a long, healthy, active, vibrant, joyful life or a life of slow health decline and potentially premature death. Okay, this story now needs a couple of things to progress. It needs a guide and it needs a plan. If you think about it, all the great stories have a guide. Dorothy had Glinda the Good Witch, Luke Skywalker had Yoda, and Shrek has Donkey. And just like these heroes, you need a guide, someone to inspire you, educate you, to train you, and to help you develop a plan of attack. Someone who is invested in your ultimate long-term victory. Now, you'll need some discernment here. As we've already pointed out, your enemy, the modern diet culture, is often disguised as one of the good guys. You've been fooled in the past, so you're naturally wary. You know what hasn't worked before, at least for long-term permanent weight loss. You don't need another diet. You don't need fat loss smoothies. You don't need intermittent fasting. And you definitely don't need to give up carbs. But in your story, your guide shows up in your life at the right place and at the right time. And this guide has a plan. Your guide proposes a new way of looking at weight loss. He talks about restoring your metabolic health before you even start to think about fat loss. He talks about starting this healthy journey from a place of self-love and not self-loathing. He's a proponent of making small, permanent, healthy lifestyle changes. And unlike the villain, he doesn't sugarcoat the timeline. If you have 20 pounds to lose, he explains that it may take a year, potentially even longer, to make permanent, lifelong body composition changes. Okay, so let's recap before we go on to our next chapter. You are the hero. You desire something that seems impossible to obtain. You've been trying for years without success. And the main reason you haven't been successful so far is because of the dastardly villain thwarting you every step of the way. You're up against seemingly insurmountable odds and the stakes are high, like as in life or death high. But now you've met a guide and he has a plan and he has your back. He's willing to go to battle with you. And now your guide calls you to action. You both know this won't be easy. And while you don't know yet that you're a hero, your guide does. He sees something in you. He knows that you have what it takes. Your guide is only your guide. He can assist and advise, but the ultimate battle is yours to fight. You have to do the work. You must go to battle and face the enemy. And so you do. You go to battle. You face the demons. You do the work day in and day out. And since this is a hero saga and not a fairy tale, the battle rages on and on. There are small defeats along the way, which you and your guide use as learning experiences. And there are small victories as well, which you and your guide celebrate. And in the end, you stand victorious. The enemy has been vanquished, the dragon slain. You are a hero in every sense of the word. You faced an imposing foe in impossible odds. You persevered when things got tough, and they definitely got tough. You gave your all, even when it seemed like your all wasn't enough. You are a hero. You're in rare company. Many people face your exact same circumstances, but the vast majority never win in the end. They're defeated by the enemy. You are a hero. And now it's time for your guide to move on. You've learned the lessons. You have the tools should the enemy ever decide to make another run at you. Defend for yourself. The kingdom is safe. You've saved the day. And so our story ends with you as the hero. But this story needs an epilogue. You're sleeping one night and you're dreaming a hero's dream when all of a sudden your guide appears to you in a dream. You reminisce about your time together, the good times and the bad, the battles you fought and the ultimate victory you won. But your guide tells you he has another mission for you. It's a mission of life and death and only you can do it. He tells you your mission is this. Go out and help others. 
be an inspiration to others. Meet them where they are. Tell your story. Give them hope. Form an army. Take what you've been given and pass it on to others. And as you begin to stir from your sleep, the dream and your guide fades. You awake refreshed and invigorated, excited to take on your new mission. The camera pans in on your sleepy, smiling face and then slowly fades as the credits start rolling. The end. Okay, this is the part of the podcast where I make a shameless plug to be your guide. Now, I'm guessing most of you probably saw that coming from a mile away. But here's the thing. I want to be your Glinda, your Yoda, your donkey. But as we've already mentioned in our story, you are wary. I mean, what makes me and my company, the Silver Edge, any more qualified than the next guy or gal peddling weight loss? In fact, how can you be sure I'm not a diabolical double agent secretly in league with the enemy? Well, first things first, I'll tell you right up front that I don't have any proprietary secrets that my peers and competitors don't have. I don't have the secret to easy, fast, lifelong weight loss. Because permanent weight loss is never easy or ever fast. Ever. But what I do have is over a decade of learning and experimentation. I have two different coaching certifications, and I have success in leading people on this journey. But mostly what I have to offer you is integrity and passion. I honestly and deeply care about your long-term success. Look, here's the deal. I can get you to lose 20 pounds in two months. If you're willing to grind it out, I have a formula for doing that. But here's the thing. At the end of that two months, I'll leave you in an unsustainable and unhealthy place. Basically, you'll need to live the rest of your life eating like a rabbit and a slave to the treadmill. Again, for the rest of your life. Oh, and you'll have crappy metabolic health to boot. And the second you stop those miserable behaviors and start actually enjoying your life, you'll gain that weight back probably with a few bonus pounds to boot, I guarantee it. There's a reason that there's so many Get Slim Quick programs out there. Plain and simple, that's what we as humans want. We want the shortcuts, the results without the hard work. And savvy marketers know that's where the money is. Imagine having two weight loss offers in front of you. They're both an investment, but they're roughly the same price. And one promises you 20 pounds of weight loss in two months, and the other say, Let's aim for a year. It could be shorter, but it might be longer. Be honest. Which one of those are you buying? So back to why you might choose us, or at least someone like us, as your guide. Here at the Silver Edge, we have three core principles that guide every single one of our actions, and they are impact, connection, and passion. Impact means that we don't want to temporarily improve your body composition we want to fundamentally and permanently transform your life. Connection means that we care about you and your long-term success. We want you to be a hero. And passion, because it's the glue that holds impact and connection together. It's our love for what we do. When you enroll in one of our coaching programs, you are the hero. I'm not the hero. My coaches aren't the hero. Our programs aren't the hero. You are. We're the guide. We consider our clients' trust in us a sacred honor, one not to be taken lightly because of what's at stake. So here's my call to action. Every hero's journey starts with a first step. Reach out to a guide. And look, it doesn't have to be us. We know we're not for everyone. I mean, Glinda the Good Witch would not have worked as Luke Skywalker's guide any more than donkey guiding Dorothy would. But do your research. Find an expert guide that meshes with you and that you want on your side when you go into battle. Seriously consider investing in yourself and your long-term health. I promise it will be the best investment you'll ever make. And if you think we'd be a great guide for your hero's quest, reach out and we'll schedule a discovery call. I'll drop a link in the show notes where you can schedule a call at your convenience, and you can find that at silveredgefitness.com slash episode 155, or just shoot me an email at coach at silveredgefitness.com. So as we're wrapping up today, let me just remind you, you are a true hero. Now go and be heroic. 
Okay, that's our show for today, folks. Again, I'll put links to everything we talked about in the show notes, and you can find that over at silveredgefitness.com slash episode 155. As we wrap up our time together today, you can show your support for this show in two important ways. The first is to tell a friend about this podcast and encourage them to give it a listen. The second is for you YouTube folks to click the like and subscribe buttons. And for you podcast folks, consider giving this podcast a five-star review on whatever platform you listen to podcasts on and be sure to subscribe and follow so you don't miss future episodes. I really appreciate you spending your time with me today. And until next time, stay strong. The second is for you YouTube folks to click the like and subscribe buttons and for you folks and for you blah, 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 blah. and for you podcast folks to give this who come on Kev <laughs> <clears throat> The second is for you YouTube <clears throat> The second is for you YouTube folks to click the like and subscribe buttons and for you podcast folks to give the nope